Hello friends, once again welcome to Diksha Mission JRF. This is a day 4 of Diksha Mission JRF. In the first day, we have discussed regarding categorical preposition and square of preposition. In the second day and third day, we have discussed global environmental effort. So in this video, in the fourth video, I will be discussing a topic from communication that is mass media and society. So along with this, we are we already have given you three tasks. Today we will be giving you the fourth task, and the fourth task is we will be continuing doing the question of 2019 December. Fourth task is to do the next is to do the next set of question paper that is 2004 2019 December third afternoon shift question paper. The question paper is available in the description. Question paper is available in the description. And the answer key for yesterday's question paper is also or available in the description. That is, answer key for task 3 is available in the description. Along with that, answer uh, along with that, question paper for task 4 is also available in the description. And with regards to task 3, uh, Diksha has the, already released two videos explaining all the questions from. 2019 December 3rd morning shift. So if you have any doubts regarding any of the question, you can go through those videos. I will be also putting the link of those videos with explanation in the description. So you can go there. And I hope you are I hope you are utilizing this task and this your free time in a productive way for your future and TNN preparation. Also, we'll continue doing these videos as well as tasks so as to improve or so as to move towards our exam preparation in a better way. If you are interested in knowing different Diksha courses and other activities of Diksha, you can visit our website www.dikshaclassroom.com. So friends, as I, as I have already told, today we are going to discuss a topic from communication that is mass media and society. There are a lot of topics in communication like classroom communication, effective communication, modes of communication, etc. If possible, depending upon the time, we'll be discussing different topics. Here we are discussing mass media and society. So let's go to mass media and society. In this video, we are going to discuss one of the major topic from communication that is mass media and society. It's a newly added topic from 2019 January onwards. It's an important topic too. So first of all, let's discuss what is mass media. Mass media, I hope you know, mass media is any sort of media in which communication is transmitted to a mass or a, a mass or a large number of people. For example, something like a TV or a news channel. When a news channel telecasts a news, that particular communication of news is being transmitted or being delivered to thousands or lakhs of people. So such communication is known as mass communication. Whenever the communication aims at mass or a large number of people, we can say that is mass communication. That is mass communication. So we want to study in this topic regarding mass media and society it's all about mass communication how it is happening so before going to different types of mass media we can see what are the functions of mass media so we already discussed it's all about delivering communication to a large number of people so the functions of mass media can be set as information and education or transferring an information or creating awareness in a large number of people then the concept of socialization in some aspect entertainment political awareness cultural transmission and also catalyst and also and also catalyst to all sort of development so this all can be this this all can be told us this all can be said as a functions of mass media all six ones are easy one or basically it's about creating awareness it's about transmitting information it's about making people happy it's about entertaining them it about having a political awareness in people also promoting all sort of development in the society so this can be briefed as the functions of mass media 
Now we can go to different types of mass media. Mass media can be classified in different forms based on their physical form, then the technology involved and the nature of communication process. So we can classify mass media into different time. So basically the general classification of mass media comes into four. There are traditional media, print media, electronic media and new media. So these four can be considered as a important types of mass media. We will be discussing all these four types one by one. First one is traditional media. Traditional media are the oldest of the mass media and it mainly related with the folk art forms of the society. Okay, so traditional media is a oldest form and in most of the cases it will be related with the folk art forms of the society and every country will be having we know its own unique folk art forms and in for every country will be having its own unique art forms or folk art forms so this will be used to deliver some sort of information and they connect people with the rich heritage and tells the stories of the past to the present generation okay some sort of various classical dances or some sort of different cultural or different art forms can be said as a mode of traditional media so we can say the important characteristics of traditional media are the stage for performance of traditional art forms will be natural and friendly there may not be a very high setup for this stage it will be natural the performance and the audience normally will be knowing to each other normally there may be a awareness between each other the contents will be simple and familiar unlike the modern media normally people never get tired of them it's a normal case and also the performance are spontaneous and more stuff and made on the spot many of the traditional media communication will be made on the spot so the performance can make changes in the content according to the level of the audience so this can be said as a characteristics of traditional media then we have after traditional media we have the print media the print media started with the invention of Johannes Gutenberg when the Johannes Gutenberg invented the concept of printing the print media began to arise and mass production of printed documents led to the democratization of knowledge so the most important aspect of the invention of print media can be said as the democratization of knowledge and the introduction of print media was a revolution because till that time knowledge was considered as a property of the elite for several centuries the knowledge was considered as a property of the elite but with the beginning of the print media there were there was a democratization of knowledge so within the print media we can have different categorization within the print media also we have newspapers we have magazines and periodicals and we have books okay so newspapers magazines and periodicals and books can be said as the different forms of print media so i'll be discussing one by one newspapers we know it's a significant aspect that influence the people in many significant ways the most important quality of newspaper is that capability for future reference okay you can keep the newspaper of last month last year and you can use it for future references and the content will be highly diversified diversity of content is also future of newspaper it may carry news articles columns cartoons graphics editorial etc so it will be a mixture of different type of newses and the readers can select what they prefer from the entire content so this is an important quality of newspaper along with that we can say the important features of newspapers will be predominance of news oriented content basically in the newspapers there will be three aspects news views and advertisement but news will be overshadowing others because newspaper is primarily meant for news transfer newspaper is mainly primarily meant for news and also there will be a regular periodicity normally newspaper will be available every day there is a chance for future reference facility we already discussed regarding that we can choose we can select the time of our choice compared to other media it's a low cost 
textual media, multiple users can use the same thing. So this all can be said as the, some of the features of newspaper. Then we have magazines. The next print media. Magazine is a, originally a French word which means storehouse. So magazine is a collection of materials like stories, poems and other items. And the first full fledged magazine in English is considered to be the spectator published by Joseph Addison. And the difference between newspaper and magazine is that magazine contain a variety of magazine contain a variety of topics like current affairs, business, women, children, finance, gardens, photography, science, education, sports, etc. So the characteristics of magazine can be said as first characteristics is that they will be published at regular intervals. Okay, similar to newspaper, if newspaper have a uh, daily interval, then magazine will be also having a regular interval. Sometime it may be weekly, bi-weekly, fortnightly, monthly, bi-monthly, quarterly, etc. So there will be a regular periodicity. And unlike loose use of newspaper, magazines are produced as bound volumes or it will be produced as small books. And the most of the magazine will be meant for light reading. Magazine contain diverse contents most often target audience with distinctive characteristics and also the main characteristic that distinguish magazine from newspaper will be magazine will be generally focusing on special areas whether it's a culture politics current affairs health women wealth children's life uh, travel etc so in within a newspaper you can have different variety of topics but most probably every magazine will have its own choice of topic so if you are interested in that if you are interested in that particular topic you can go with that magazine moving to next print form of media books and the papyrus the roles of chinese are considered to be the uh, origin of books so we say paper originated from china the the word paper itself come from papyrus roles that was used in china and uh, the concept of book was present from very old age from 300 bc onwards in the beginning it was present in china and babylonia later it spread to throughout the world we can say the characteristics of books books will be portable and compact and also unlike other media books will be deal with a single subject and uh, even though newspapers and magazines get old soon due to their time limitation, books remain afresh since they deal with subjects significant for a long period. But uh, last year newspaper may not be of significant aspect this year, but a book written in last century may be even significant in this century. So that's the characteristics of book and books can be stored for a longer period. Content will be booked in an organized in the manner so that readers can have access to the industrial parts easily. That means there will be an index for us to jump to our industrial topic or the topics which we prefer. So this is all about the print media. We are moving after traditional media, print media. We are moving to the next media that is electronic media. The history of electronic media started with the invention of cinematograph by the Lumiere brothers in 1895 the term cinema itself originated from cinematograph and after this cinema invention of radio by marconi was an advancement in the electronic media then the after the invention of radio and television the colonial powers like britain and france began to spread these technologies in all of their colonies in short television broadcasting started for the first time in the us in 1920s and in a widespread web from 1950s onwards. In short, we can classify the electronic media further to film, radio and television. So electronic medias can be further classified to film, radio and television. Film, as we have already discussed, Lumiere Brothers made the first film of the world, workers leaving the Lumiere factory. Okay, in the 1895, using a camera, they patented themselves. This movie was a minute and a half long movie depicted workers coming out of the factory and they named their invention as cinematograph from which the term cinema derived. Then when it comes to India, the first movie was Raja Harishchandra directed by Dhundi Raj So film was 
film is one of the most important mode of electronic media then you have radio discovered by marconi and uh, later spread throughout the world in 1923 radio club of bombay made the first ever broadcast in the country india okay initially started with marconi and in 1923 it was the first radio telecast happened in india that's all about radio after the cinema so in 1923 radio club of Bombay made the first broadcast in India. After that, in 1927, the Indian Broadcasting Company was formed in India. In 1930, the government took over the transmitters of Indian Broadcasting Company and formed the Indian State Broadcasting Service or ISBS. And later, after 1930, 1936, the Delhi station started functioning. Then, this company was later renamed as All India Radio. From 1956 onwards, All India Radio got the new name Agashavani. Agashavani means celestial announcement and was coined by M.V. Gobala Swami. So, the origin of radio in India is an important. 1923, Radio Club of Mumbai made the first ever broadcast. 1927, Indian Broadcasting Company. 1930, Indian State Broadcasting Service. 1936, Delhi Station, All India Radio. 1956, Agashavani. Now we are moving to television. The word television literally means seeing things from distant places. The word television means seeing things from distant places. And the television was invented by John Louis Baird of London. Okay, it was invented by John Louis Baird of London. And what is important is that in India, first television telecast was done in 1951 by All India Radio. Okay, later it was full-fledged telecasting station. We would, we would have heard about Doordarshan, etc. So, television was introduced in India in 1959 by All India Radio. Now, we can say what some of the general features of electronic media. Uh, some media like radio can be for hearing and television and film can be both for visual and audible experience and source to use electronic media some should have some technical knowledge then uh, radio television and film are enjoyable by people with audio visual disabilities also satellite transmission make it instantly available live coverage is possible in radio and television so these are some of the features of again electronic media we have already discussed we are just rewinding that then we are moving to the last topic of mass media and society that is new media First of all, we have the traditional media in, will be, in which we will be using traditional art forms. Then we have the print media, we will be using print materials. Then we have the electronic media like radio, television, film and the last media is new media. New media is simply, it's all about internet. It's a media we are using now. It's a media through which you are hearing this class. The invention of the internet and the world wide web opened up several new avenues in mass communication that is known as new media which include email, websites, podcasts, ebooks, blogging, social networking, internet protocol, television, internet radio and so and so. So this all sort of communication that is being happening mainly in the present world can be referred as new media. Main important characteristics of new media can be said as new media facilitate instant interaction between the senders and receivers also if internet connectivity is available one can access new media from any part of the globe and it depends upon different data resources which means new media is all about internet in which there are no any such limitation that we can see in the radio television etc it's available most of them are available 24 hours we can see or we can see the messages in our comfortable time so this is all about new media remember traditional media the first one we discussed in mass media and society traditional art forms and the second we discussed about the print media newspaper magazine etc then we discussed about the electronic media tv television tv radio etc then finally we discussed about the new media internet we are not discussing much about the new media here because we will be discussing much about internet intranet etc in it topic we are just mentioning here it in the communication topic 
okay so friends i hope you are clear regarding mass media and society that we have already discussed we have discussed different aspects related to that one and i hope don't forget regarding your task number four task number four is to do complete 50 question of 2019 december 3rd afternoon shift question paper without answer key is available in the description answer key will be released tomorrow and so as to get so as to continue getting these videos on a day-to-day -day basis please subscribe to our youtube channel if possible click on the notification icon we always try to improve our sessions as i as i already told so please feel free to put your suggestions in the comment box thank you